Less than three weeks away before the total solar eclipse and some photography experts are now helping Hoosiers in that path of totality capture this special That's moment. That's right. Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara walks us through how you may want to prepare even if you only have the camera on your cell phone. Decades of waiting and countless average sunny days will soon be rewarded with a brief, breathtaking sight filling Indiana's sky. The next eclipse is I think in 2045. All right, so it's 21 years from now. I don't know if I'm gonna be here, but I know I'm gonna be here for this one, so let's, let's make the most of this one. Preserving that moment won't be as difficult as you might think, and Walter Kuhn at Robert's Camera wants to equip Hoosiers with everything they need to get the perfect shot, including a solar filter, important for protecting your camera's sensor and your eyes. When totality hits, we don't need these. We take these off, okay? But while we're photographing the sun before that, and while we're photographing the sun after that, this is the key. Anybody could take a good picture of the eclipse, but the experts here at Robert's Camera say the equipment you need from a smartphone to a professional camera depends on the shot you want to get. Which of these do you want, or do you want something in between it? He says once they sell out of filters, they won't be restocking. And while the store's rental equipment has all been claimed for the big day, you can still sign up for a lesson on eclipse photography. But remember, time is of the essence because you won't have much on April 8th. Well, my best advice is don't wait for the eclipse, okay? Photography is the recording of light. The sun's going to be the same today as it's going to be on April 8th. Let's, put, let's go buy this, let's put this on, and let's go figure this out today. For many, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I made this picture in 2017. But a lucky few already know, while a picture's worth a thousand words, it's hard to find the right ones for something like this. Don't get so wrapped up in trying to capture it that you don't take a few moments to experience it because it's indescribable. Photography, photo, no photo or video is going to do it justice. You just have to experience it. Reporting in Indianapolis, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News. Oh, it is going to be a special day, and we'll be broadcasting live all over the state as the skies go dark on Monday, April 8th. You can watch our special coverage that day from 1 to 4 p.m., and then on our newscasts all evening.